with the new name comes a new campaign. Diabetes Canada has launched its End Diabetes ads to appeal to younger donors. They will focus on an important story. And that's one of the reasons we're trying to make our stories as impactful as possible, to tell the story about the person. The Canadian Diabetes Association name change follows the Heart and Stroke Foundation dropping the word foundation. And two top Canadian cancer charities recently merged for financial reasons. Fundraising campaigns are getting slicker, focusing on the struggles of the individuals they help, rather than the critical research and advocacy they fund. I think there's a basic suspicion now of institutions. I mean, when I grew up, if, you know, you believed in the school system, you believed in government, you believed in big organizations. I think now there is definitely a much more wide uh, cynicism about it, and for good reason. And that's made online crowdfunding more attractive for donors, where money goes directly to needy individuals. Since its launch, GoFundMe has raised $58 million to pay the health-related expenses for people in Canada. This head of a charity advocacy group says there's an unhealthy preoccupation in Canada with the cost of running non-profits. The belief that needing overhead is a bad thing is first of all incredibly inaccurate. You cannot deliver quality programs without the resources to do so, but it does manifest itself sometimes in people saying, well, you know what, I'll go direct to the person. There's not enough direct data to prove that Canadian charities are suffering as a result of crowdfunding, but for the nonprofit sector, it's a donation model that's getting impossible to ignore. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.